stay with me If only for a moment Only for a while Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is a beautiful day in the live. It happens to be May 1st, 2024. I am so excited to jump into this day. So I've already gotten ready for the day. I am going to water the garden. It's going to be hot. So I wanted to give them lots of water to get them through the afternoon. And then I am gonna head up to work. I have a lunch today at one of my favorite restaurants for work. And then we're gonna come home. I'm gonna make the most amazing recipe with just a bunch of junk I found in the refrigerator. <laughs> If you want to say good morning to the chickens, give this video a big thumbs up. They are so happy and loving the spring weather. It is finally dry here in Napa Valley. We do actually have rain on Saturday, which is a bummer because I'm hosting a pizza party at the winery and I have to put them inside and I'm so bummed about it. I found a ton of eggs today, so we're going to collect those. Also, give a comment down below and say hi to Tuna. Oh my god, these like popped overnight. Right? Like, I, like, the snaps got so heavy, I like just had to put a steak in them. I'm like, come on, wow. Chris, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Don't fall just... over. Like this one was trying to go, like it fell over in that windstorm. Was that oh, crazy yeah. wind? Yeah, yeah, yeah so I just gave them all like a little bra. Yeah, they're so pretty. Oh, they look, everything looks so good. Oh my god, I'm just planting some zinnias and um, yeah, I planted different kinds of basil. Wow. And all the seeds are coming up. <gasps> the traffic today this is traffic just left work heading to the gym it's 4 30 on the dot so really pretty uh, vineyard called realm they have a 
amazing Cabernets. This area is called Stag's Leap. Um, one of my favorite wineries is uh, Ragucci family, which is like right over here. They actually have an annual farm stand. You can go, it's an honors farm stand. And um, it's such a beautiful property and even more beautiful people. I'll try to remember to take you guys there when they're, and everyone's just planting their gardens now, but like when their garden starts to flourish. super long day at work um, it's a month end right now so we have like um, you know all of our end of the month uh, sales totals and goals and inventory and I'm really tired today is May 1st so it's the first day of my new routine to get ready for summer and for whatever reason, I think it might be allergies. I have been insanely tired, like every single day. I even had a Red Bull, which I don't usually have Red Bulls. <laughs> it's just not something I would drink, but I was so desperate and it did absolutely nothing for me, except like low key make my tummy a little upset. Um, as you can see, the vineyards are like exploding everywhere, but these are old vines. See how like green they are? And then look at these newer vines. Look how different, like how much less green they are because they're not as mature as like those. They also could be different varietals. Anywho, so tonight for dinner, I need to go to the grocery store. I have no idea what we're gonna make. I think we'll do for dinner tonight, I think we'll do Goodness, I don't know. Let's think about it when we get to the gym. I just got home and I'm gonna take a quick shower just to um, wash my hair. The following day, May 2nd, is um, a really big meeting in the morning. Thursdays are always my really busy days and I don't have time to wash my hair. And my divvy came in, so I wanted to get my hair nice and clean. I was out of my serum too. Um, so I'm just showing you this because it is really great stuff if you're looking for. Um, it is a revitalized shampoo and conditioner that really, really targets your scalp, which is where hair growth comes from. So I've been using this for, this will be my third shipment from them. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna take a quick shower, then I am going to do a little skincare, and then we're gonna head into the kitchen and I need to start dinner. I don't always come home and take a shower, but um, days when I need to like get my hair ready for the following day, uh, I try to do it at night. That way I can save time in the morning. And then I was just showing you, these are my skim bralette and they're, these are like just regular granny panties, <laughs> but I love them. It literally feels like skin. It feels like you're not wearing anything. And then I have two or three sets of these lounge. Um, if you're looking for like, it's just so soft and weightless. I love them. I'll link them down below. They're super great. I also just ordered some more underwear from them. They have like a three pack, uh, special going on. So I grabbed those. Now time to get ready. I'm just going to kind of get my hair brushed. I'm going to use my Divi scalp serum, 
which really helps to revitalize. Like my hair has so much body the next day, um, but it also detoxifies and gets rid of all the buildup on your root system so that your hair will actually grow better. Obviously not sponsored, but love the product. So anywho, I'm going to get myself pulled together and then we are going to go ahead and make dinner. Dinner turns out amazing. I found a bunch of stuff in the refrigerator and made the best dinner ever. I can't wait to share the recipe with you. Now that I have my hair kind of thrown back, it's just going to um, make it a lot easier to blow dry before I go to bed. Um, here we are, makeup free, ready to start um, dinner. It feels so good sometimes to come home from the gym and just take a nice relaxing shower. I've also been loving using those body restore pods. It just like, oh my God, took a little spot in my shower. Here are all the recipes I've ever put on my channel um, and the little cookbook I made once upon a time. But I was going to make my Italian uh, chicken. It's the with the cream in it but I okay here's a couple things one we had leftover barbecued chicken and I knew I was going to use that I did not have any mozzarella cheese and that's something that you need for that recipe but I'll show you how I improvise the kids obviously aren't going to all want that so I did some chicken nuggets and then two pieces of broccoli per child that way I didn't waste any kids love broccoli I figured for them strawberries broccoli um chicken nuggets and then some pasta I found this amazing pasta it looks so fun um at world market not that long ago and I just thought it'd be really fun this recipe you actually cook the pasta and then add it back into the recipe um it it really needs a nice thick pasta because it will actually absorb a bunch of the flavors. So to get started, I'm just gonna put some garlic and some olive oil in a pan and then about a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. You're also gonna wanna keep some of the sun-dried tomato oil. Just throw that in the pan, cook it on a medium heat until everything is kind of like nice and loose and fragrant. Um, typically with this recipe, you cook the chicken and then remove the chicken and then do the pasta. But since I already had the chicken cooked on the barbecue the night before, we're just going to chop that up. We'll throw that in a little bit later. While that's happening, I am going to be making some pasta. Um, I know that I broke it and that's like sacrilegious in the Italian culture and I get it, but I have to cut this pasta up for my kids. It's way too long anyway. So I was just showing you, you can actually cut them in half if you want but I did it both ways it turns out really really yummy Since this recipe called for mozzarella cheese, I found some string cheese and just cut it up, added. It worked perfectly. Um, you're just gonna mix that around. There's a couple little tricks to this. Oh, the other thing is since I didn't have a ton of cheese, I ended up um, using a little bit of ricotta cheese. Oh my God. I'm going to do that forever. I add a little smoked paprika to this, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and then I'm adding in just um, basil, dried basil, because my basil isn't grown yet. So <laughs> I don't know about you, but dried basil doesn't taste like anything. It's actually quite terrible. Anyway, so then I'm going to add in that ricotta cheese. I used a cup of it. I usually don't use this, but I needed more cheese for this recipe because I didn't have the mozzarella. And this is the jam. Like if you're going to make this recipe, highly recommend. It's it's so good. So mix all that up. Then I'm going to put a cup of half and half in here and then just let that come to a little simmer. Later on, when you remove the pasta, put about one fourth cup of the pasta water in here. It really helps break the cheese up and just gives it that really creamy, well-coated um, kind of pasta dressing. I'm just going to mix in some Parmesan cheese and let that simmer while we get the kids' food out of the oven. And then once the pasta is done, we're going to drop that into this sauce and let it all come together. <laughs>
this improv pasta recipe was delicious. I will have it typed out down below if you guys want to check it out. It is very good. I will also link the original recipe if you guys want to try it. Here is everything. Call the kids down for dinner, and it's time for me to spend the rest of the night with my family. Thank you so much for joining me on today's Day in the Life. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you